This case study is designed to help you understand eligibility requirements for the R&D tax incentive. With an increasing focus on eco-friendliness, Australian company Enviroloo has developed a non-toxic chemical toilet system that doesn't need to be flushed with water, which are used in eco-lodges and holiday houses. After being approached by a property developer to install 1,000 of the new toilets, Enviroloo decided to explore growth opportunities by developing the product for the medium density residential market. Enviroloo identified technical challenges in developing an interconnected system for larger buildings based on their eco-friendly technology. These challenges involved the suction and pressure required for waste removal from a system of non-flushing toilets rather than a single unit. Enviroloo undertook literature searches and consulted with experts and found that the answer to these challenges did not currently exist. Enviroloo proposed a modified toilet lid that would create an air seal that, combined with a small pressure unit, would create enough suction to evacuate the chemical waste to an on-site processing unit. Under the R&D tax incentive, eligible R&D activities are either core or supporting activities. Enviroloo tested its technical solution by building a system of 10 interconnected toilets and undertaking experiments to test its effectiveness. The suction generated and the degree of chemical waste removed was measured under a range of conditions. Enviroloo considered Oz Industries guidance products and determined that the testing of 10 interconnected toilets with a redesigned toilet lid and a pressure unit meets the criteria for a core R&D activity because there was technical uncertainty that needed to be addressed by the hypothesis that a modified toilet lid combined with a small pressure system would provide the requisite suction in a system of interconnected toilets. The hypothesis was tested in a set of experiments. Conditions were varied and the degree of evacuation of the chemical waste was measured. It could not have been known or determined in advance whether this hypothesis would work. It was conducted for the purpose of generating new knowledge. Enviroloo determined that the initial background research and the construction of 10 interconnected toilets were not part of the core R&D activity because they were not experimental. However, because they were directly related to the core activity, both were assessed as supporting R&D activities. To make this assessment, Enviroloo determined that both the background research and building the 10 interconnected toilets directly contributed to the experiments to test the system. Record keeping is an important part of any R&D project and good business practice. Relevant records can include those normally maintained to support income tax claims and those that cover the planning and progress of R&D activities. Activity-based records in Viroloo kept included literature research and records of consultation to show that a similar product didn't already exist. An R&D plan that set out the technical hypothesis and the design of the experiments to test that hypothesis. Dates of testing and the steps that were taken as part of those tests. The data and results of the tests. How construction of the 10 interconnected toilets was directly related to the experiments. Minutes of project meetings. Enviroloo kept further records, including timesheets to verify the amount of time spent on R&D activities general ledger entries and invoices to verify the amount incurred on R&D activities, spreadsheet or template that allows for eligible R&D costs to be consolidated into a format which allows for direct input into the ATO research and development tax incentive schedule, file notations and updated records to track the progress of an R&D activity. As part of the EnviroLoo's record keeping process, the company developed project documentation which included an R&D plan. Whilst this is not compulsory when submitting a claim, it displayed evidence of good planning and governance processes that form strong supporting evidence for compliance purposes. As the R&D tax incentive operates on a self-assessment basis, it means claimants are responsible for determining whether their activities and expenditure meet the eligibility criteria of the program and for maintaining records to support their registration or claim. In this way, Enviroloo went ahead and created their unique design for eco-friendly, non-flushing toilets. For more information, visit business.gov.au or call 132846.